Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, this time we're going to basically look at uh, the simple Keynesian model in an open economy. So now it's time for us to basically open our economy to the rest of the world. So let me just get the uh, board to be ready and... Okay, so we're going to look at the... We're going to still use the simple Keynesian model. Okay, and now we want to incorporate uh, the, the international trade into the model where we're going to have import and, and export. So we're going to have, first of all, we have to modify our equilibrium condition a little bit. So now our equilibrium. So initially we have, so this is our income, which is in equilibrium will equal to uh, our output equals to our expenditure. Okay, which is equals to all the, the components of aggregate demand. So we have the first expenditure component is consumption demanded by the household. And then we have investment, okay, which is the component of expenditure, okay, demanded by the by the firm. And then we have the government spending. Okay, the government spending. And now since we, we are opening the, the economy to the rest of the world, so we're going to have to add export, which is X, Okay, and minus imports. Okay, so our X here basically represent export. And Z here represent imports. Okay, now why do we have to add exports? So you can look, okay, uh, into this uh, perspective. Uh, first of all, uh, export basically represent um, our uh, our sales of goods, the goods that we produce, so our output that we produce in the country to the rest of the world. So these goods will be consumed by uh, people from uh, foreign countries. Uh, so that's why uh, it is being added up okay, to uh, the output because uh, it represents uh, goods and services that are also produced okay, uh, in the country. It's just that they are being consumed by uh, the rest of the world, okay, the rest of the world. Uh, while import, okay, we have to uh, subtract uh, import, okay, because uh, these are the goods that are basically produced, okay, uh, in the foreign countries and we simply consume them. So to make our analysis simple, we're going to simply uh, uh, basically assume that export and imports are all related to, uh, the, the imports component is related to consumption. It is because household uh, they also have the preference that they like to consume imported goods. And because of that, that's why we have to uh, subtract import from our uh, output, okay, our, our, our income here. Because um, uh, the amount of uh, money uh, that households spend on imported goods would be income to outsiders, uh, to, to, to the foreigners. While exports are added because uh, the, the money spent okay, by the foreigners, by the international consumers, would be income to the, the, uh, our economic agents, uh, to the household, to the firms here in, in, in the country. Okay, so you can look at it from these two perspectives, either from the perspective of production, okay, production where uh, exports represent goods that are produced in the country, so that's why they are added up okay, to our output level here while imports are basically goods produced outside the country. So that's why we have to subtract them. Or you can look at, uh, at uh, this export and imports component from the income point of view, uh, where, in where export basically uh, represent income uh, to, uh, the, uh, to the local citizens here, to, 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 the, to the agents in the domestic economy, because we are, we are selling the goods to outsiders. So the, the payment receipts, okay, the, the payments of the export receipt to basically constitute our income, while imported goods, we are paying it. So the, the, the payment for imported goods would basically be income to outsiders. So that's why we have to subtract uh, imports from uh, the, our, our aggregate income. Okay, so you can look at it from these uh, two perspectives. Okay, the, just to explain why we add exports and we have to subtract imports, okay? Um, so like I said earlier, just to make the analysis simple, we're gonna basically assume that um, this uh, export, uh, this import is gonna basically affect consumption. So this is, so we're gonna, then we need to, uh, let's try to, uh, uh, 
look at consumption. Okay, now our consumption consists of two components, the domestic okay, goods, goods and services. And then household will also like to consume imported goods. Okay, imported goods. Now domestic goods, okay, the consumption of domestic goods will be represented by C. Okay, so C now represent the, 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 the domestic consumption. So we have A plus B, Y. It depends, okay, on the income level. Okay, um, so in this case, we are simply assuming that uh, assume zero tax. Okay, just to make the analysis simple because now um, our focus is on uh, the opening the economy. So basically when we assume T to be zero, our uh, disposable income, okay, would simply equals to the total income that we have at the moment. And this B, remember, this is our marginal propensity to consume. Okay, now this is the first component of consumption. Now the second component of consumption, okay, will consist of the consumption of imported goods. So, so Z here, this import is basically another component of consumption. Okay, so now, so the so what is the the the, the equation? How do we describe uh, the preference of the household in terms of uh, consuming the imported goods? So we're gonna use the same structure as the domestic consumption, where we have um, U plus V Y. Okay, so the preference uh, the the of household uh, to consume imported goods is also a positive function of income. Okay, so that makes sense, right? I mean, if we have a higher income, uh, general in general we're gonna consume more imported goods. Okay, so similar to the domestic consumption. Okay, the intercept U here is assumed to be positive. Okay, while V here is a proportion. Okay, which will take the value from 0 to, to 1. Okay, and this V is basically the marginal propensity to import. Okay, so now take note based on this, we already have where our B okay, represent the marginal propensity to consume and our V here is the marginal propensity to import. Now, taking these two values, okay, B and V, we can have B minus V. So what is our B minus V here? This is basically, this represent the marginal propensity to consume for domestic goods. Okay, now let's have a look at the equilibrium. So what's going to happen to our equilibrium when we open the economy? Uh, so we're going to see the, in terms of the changes, uh, in terms of the changes. So let's recall the equilibrium condition, okay, where our income, okay, equals to output. Okay, and these are the components of our aggregate demand, C plus I plus G plus X minus Z. Okay. Now, rewrite our consumption, which we have defined in the previous slide here. Okay, so C equals to A plus BY. Okay, so plus I, which is autonomous, autonomous of income, plus G plus x is also export is also assumed to be autonomous of our income uh, it will be a function of foreign income but not the local income not the national income and then minus z so what is our z that we have defined earlier u okay and then v y now what we need to do next is simply to collect okay all the y and put them on the left hand side Okay, which will give us the equilibrium income. Now we have, we collect all the terms. So we have B here. So we're going to have 1 minus B. And then we have negative B here. So 1 minus B plus V. And collect all the other terms. Okay, the autonomous uh, expenditure components. 
into the bracket. Oops, sorry about that. It should be uh, plus uh, plus x, okay, plus x, and then we have minus u, okay. Now, what can we conclude from here? Okay, so based on uh, compared to the previous okay equation, okay, previous equation where when we have a closed economy, when we have a closed economy, did, was it? Yeah. So this is our autonomous expenditure multiplier one over one minus b. But now that we have opened the economy, okay, our autonomous expenditure multiplier is now instead of one over one minus b we have an additional term here, 1 over 1 minus B plus V, okay, where the marginal propensity to import has entered, okay, the denominator positively. So, under the open economy, we're going to end up with smaller, smaller autonomous expenditure multiplier okay our multiplier is now becomes smaller where we have now 1 over 1 minus b plus v this is smaller than 1 over 1 minus b now this has become smaller due to v here okay the v so what is this v represent okay, we know that v here okay, the marginal propensity to import import here is another form of leakage okay, leakage where <clears throat> it is a form of leakage from the domestic circular economy Okay. which basically going to affect the, the income. So rather than household, rather than spending, buying goods and services that are produced locally, locally, which going to basically be, be income to the local producers when they uh, consume imported goods. So this, this uh, expenditure will go to outsiders. So, so basically, um, the local producers are going to lose uh, that potential income instead uh, those would be basically income to foreign producers so that's why it is uh, it is a form of leakage okay it is a form of leakage now uh, we can also uh, have a look at the multiplier effect okay the multiplier effect so what would now happen so we already uh, conclude that the the multiplier okay would become smaller okay under the open economy Okay. So let's say um, what would happen to um, our equilibrium income when there is a change in the um, export. Okay, let's say the government decided to uh, increase export. Okay, so export is an autonomous component. Okay, export is an autonomous component. Okay, of our aggregate expenditure. So. By looking back at this equation, okay, there is an x over here, so we're going to have the uh, multiplier, okay, the multiplier, okay, we're going to have 1 over 1 minus b plus v multiplied by change in x, okay, change in x, so we can rearrange the term, okay, where now uh, a one unit change in x, okay, in x part, would cause equilibrium income to also change by this amount. Okay, so basically an increase, okay, in export, okay, would cause equilibrium income to go up by 1 over 1 minus B plus V, okay, because there is a form of leakage. So this is an expansionary effect. Now, let's say what happens when the, um, uh, so this is number one, increase export. What if um, the people, okay, uh, decide to, uh, imp to, to, to consume more imported goods, 
Okay, what about if imports goes up? Okay, so now imports, okay, change in Z. Okay, change in Z. So if you uh, recall, this was the, let me just rewrite it over here, 1 over B plus V, okay, A plus I plus G plus X minus U, okay, minus U, uh, here. Okay. Now, if there is a change, okay, in the, in, in import, uh, in import, so it will be reflected by a change in U. Okay, a change in U, uh, where let's say now uh, the marginal propensity, uh, the marginal propensity to import has gone up, okay, which is U. Okay, people like to import more. Okay, when people like to import more, so what will happen is that a change in the equilibrium income will be represented by, so we have a U here, so we're going to have all the multiplier, Okay, and we have the change in U. Okay, so we can rearrange the term and we have 1 over, so this is a negative, right? It's a negative, so we have negative 1 because it is negative. Okay, I forgot to put a negative sign here, okay? Because the coefficient of U here is negative 1, okay, plus 1 minus B plus V. So and increase, okay, in the marginal propensity to import, okay, would basically cause our equilibrium income to go down because it is negative by 1 over 1 minus B plus V. So this basically going to cause a contractionary effect. Okay, um, so... That's it basically for the um, uh, how we incorporate uh, the, the open economy into our simple uh, Keynesian model. So uh, inshallah, um, we can continue with uh, the next topic, which is we're going to look at the monetary side. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.